everybody. It's time for uh, cook to squat down. <laughs> it's time for uh, cooking with the Colonel Abu Dhabi edition. So um, I've got my crock pot, and this is my first time trying it over here. Well, actually, it's I, I used to use this when I was over here back in 2015. So here's the old reliable this crock pot here, um, Home Center. Never heard of that brand. Um, but I bought that when I was here back in uh, 2015, and um, when I when I and I kept it for a year. I used it a, a few times. I made chili in it a couple of times, uh, which is a challenge here because they really yeah. You know, I had a hard time finding chili powder, so I had to kind of make do with uh, the chili powder they have here. And I and I made the mistake when my son uh, William uh, came to visit. I made up a pot of chili, and I like it hot. So I used a lot of that chili powder. Well, their chili powder here is like, like lava. Um, and I just remember Will, uh, poor guy, I mean, he, I remember he's eating it and he starts breaking out in the sweat. He's like, oh daddy, I just can't eat this. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, and, and I, I tried to gut through it even and, and it, was, uh, it was impossible. Anyway, so that's the funny chili story. But uh, what I'm going to make for you today is some uh, chicken noodle soup in the crock pot. So this is uh, Wednesday night. Uh, the hotel I stay at uh, provides dinner um, Sunday night through Wednesday night. So Thursday and Friday and Saturday night you're on your own. So I have I'm, so this will be dinner for me uh, tomorrow night, and uh, and it'll be lunch for me next week too. So. Um, I found a, a recipe online. Some of y'all have, have sent in some some ideas, and I appreciate that. I'll welcome all of them. There's one of them I'm gonna try. Uh, someone sent in it for uh, Cornish game hens. I'm gonna try that one, I think, too. But uh, this one, uh, this is my first go trying it out, and I'm gonna see. So I uh, went to the grocery store, and I did that video um, linked up. Am I pointing to the correct side, or maybe it's here? Um, when I went to the grocery store, it's a little different over here. I mean, they have some wonderful produce and the, the carrots I got, you know, I cut, cut up some carrots, beautiful carrots and everything's fresh and, and good in the produce. It's just some things are a little off, a little different. Like I needed some chicken stock and, uh, you know, of course in the States you just go and they come in the little cartons, you know, and I could just, you could just pour it right in. Well, they don't have that. Uh, what they have here is this uh, chicken stock in a box. Now it's a box. I was thinking, well, that's not very much in there. Well, it's it's the bouillon cube, so I had to use that. So that's the first step here. Is um, I added uh, a couple of cubes, actually four cubes, and two liters of water, and mixed up four of these bouillon cubes, uh, uh, the chicken stock, and mixed it all together. And that's that's kind of that's going to be the soup base. So I'm going to go with that. Um, this is pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, and this is the nice thing about crock pies, I'm gonna put all this in here tonight and then put it in the refriger uh, refrigerator. And then tomorrow, um, before I go to work, and I'll, I'll take this, so then, then when I get through with this, the next thing you see is me putting it in and I'll turn it on and then I'll come back in the after work and check on it after like about six hours or so. And, um, um, and, and then uh, the last step is to add the, uh, the noodles. So I, I got some uh, farfalle, I think that's how you say that, uh, farfalle uh, noodles from car, the Carrefour here. So it's just these bow tie noodles. Um, put those in, back in the pot while it's cooking slow for about 30 minutes or so, and then it should be ready. So it's pretty nice to, to do throwing it in, prepping it the night before, Put it in, turn it on. I love cooking with a crock pot. It's so easy. It's Steve proof. That's what it is. That's sad, but it's true. So, uh, like I said, uh, start off with the, either the, the cartons of, of uh, chicken stock or, um, or the bouillon cubes work out real nice. Now, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, I had this leftover lemon. So, I'm going to, there's a seed right on top. Get rid of that. I'm going to add a little bit of the lemon juice just to give it a little bit of kick. That, and I just don't like to waste stuff, you know. Um, so I'm going to add that first, kind of get that going. Use my Kung Fu grip and get this, get this lemon, all this out here. Great. Now, uh, I've got uh, a cut. So basically, all the, all the recipes are down below. 
uh, and the directions, which are pretty simple, throw it all in, turn it on. Um, but uh, on your way down, you know, hit the thumbs up. Is that, is that what it looks? It looks probably more like that. Um, and uh, and uh, and hit the little bell too on there, so you'll know when I post a new video. So you'll know. But um, and then please leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, give me some ideas, please, because because uh, I need ideas. <laughs> So, um, first thing I did, I cut up uh, one uh, large, uh, and I had a leftover, the red uh, uh, onion, uh, onion, Bella. <laughs> so, I cut that up. Uh, one large onion, I'm going to go ahead and toss that in. I cut up uh, two, two carrots and then two stalks of celery. Now, celery were like ginormous. So, I cut those up. All that just goes in. Now the nice thing about that is celery is mostly water, as you know the lemons too. So um, it's going to cook that water out too, and all those flavors from from in it. And that you know I, li I like cooking with celery, uh, putting celery in things because it really adds a nice flavor. I really like the taste of celery. Um, I'm going to add in. I couldn't find any uh, one of the spices the recipe called for was thyme. I had no thyme. Hey. Um, so I washed all these. I washed all these off, by the way. Um, I'm just gonna. I've got some sprigs of rosemary. I'm gonna toss those in. Now, I, somebody had mentioned this before with uh, with celery. Um, so that I, I, what I decided to do is try again for the flavor. I'm gonna. I kept the tops. Normally, I would have chucked these out in the yard and uh, to feed my forest uh, friends. Uh, but I'm gonna add add these in too, just uh, just for flavor. See how that turns out. Um, and then I got uh, a pack of chicken, chicken breasts. Um, it says chicken fillets, but I think it's just cut up breast. I, it's probably about a pound, a pound and a half, and uh, it's uncooked, so I'm not uh, cooking it ahead of time because the, the crock pot's going to do that. And and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just I'm going to just toss these in, and I'll put these in last, so they'll be kind of on the top. Because I, um, when I come back from work, I'll wash my hands off here. When I come back from work, um, I'm gonna take that chicken out and then I'm gonna shred it up. So and then and then let it cook a little bit more. Uh, you know, with the noodles, but I'll shred it up so to make it a little, a little easier to, to make soup out of it. You know, to kind of chop it up. So. I apologize. Maybe I need to get me a little stool so I can sit down here and kind of talk to you. So uh, I got my camera going. Uh, let me know if you hear all right and see okay. But uh, that's it. Uh, put the top back on. And uh, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for tonight. In the morning, I'm going to drop it in, turn it on, and uh, and we'll go from there. i see. make sure I didn't forget anything. No, I don't think so. No. Now I did get some uh, some nice crusty bread to go with it tomorrow night. So just a nice. Uh, it's got little seeds all over it, which I like. So a nice little uh, little whole wheat uh, baguette. I don't know if it's whole wheat or not, but it looks good, so I got it. Um, and that's it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that, and uh, uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. When we uh, when we drop this in the crock pot. Good morning. It's the next morning. So uh, getting ready for work. So I'm getting ready to head out. I took this out of the refrigerator, and I just dropped it in. I put it on high while I was taking a shower, and getting ready for work. And then uh, before I walk out the door here, I'm going to put it on uh, low. I put it on uh, yeah. I put it on low, uh, and just let it cook while I'm gone. One thing I forgot and I always forget uh, to add is salt and pepper. So this is just a salt and pepper mix, um, just salt and pepper to taste. So uh, recommend salt unless you, you can't have it at all, but or put some kind of salt substitute in there. So that'll makes it taste better, I guess. But uh, anyway, so uh, I'll be back to check on this when I get back from work here in about uh, six or seven hours, and. Um, I know I'm going to just cook it on low while I'm at, uh, at work. You can see the, it's steamed up already and it's already cooking. So, can't wait. We'll see you in a, we'll see you all in a bit. 
Hey everybody, back back from work. It's been about seven hours now since I've uh, gotten back from, or since I put the uh, put the soup on. So I walked in the door, and I always love that. So it, so everybody's wearing a mask around here all the time. I mean, in in South Carolina, typically a lot of places you go in, you wear a mask. Um, when you go in a store or something like that, when you go inside, that you know they have the signs up. And then when you go outside and you're outside in the fresh air and everything, you should take the mask off. Well, here you, you wear it everywhere, all the time, unless you're sitting down eating or drinking or something or in your room. Uh, so I was coming up to my door and I'm like, oh, I, that, that's what I love about crock pot cooking is right when you walk in the door. So I looked around, make sure nobody's looking. I took my mask down and then I opened my door because I wanted the full effect, you know, as the smell came over and it did. Oh, it smells good. So uh, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the chicken out. Remember, I kind of set that on top so I can get at it easy. And I'm going to put it in this bowl here, and then I'm going to kind of shred it up. And I'm going to put it back in along with um, along with some, some noodles. Um, and I'm going to put those in there for, and I'm going to let those cook for about half an hour. Uh, in the, in the, so it's got a nice little bubbly thing going on. Um, so, that, uh, you know, in 30 minutes, it should cook those noodles fine. So... Um, I'm gonna, let me pull this chicken out. So, I was washing some clothes here. Turn that off so it shuts up. <clears throat> so, you, you want to minimize taking off the top the crock pot as much as you can. I can't just help. I, I just can't help it this time. I'm gonna shred this chicken up, and then I'm gonna go uh, to the gym for a little bit. So it'll it'll have a chance to heat back up, and so I'm fishing this again. I love that celery. So the chicken, chicken's cooked now. I'm just shredding it up so I'm not you know trying to eat a big chunk of chicken with my soup. Let's see if I got it all here. I think I did. It's all pieces. Oh, it smells wonderful. That rosemary, that's that smells pretty good. So all I'm gonna do is get my knife and uh, here. Let me adjust the camera. I'm gonna uh, just shred. <laughs> See if I can get this right. Hopefully that won't fall over. So. I'm going to just shred this chicken up, see, so here it is. I'm going to just take the knife to it, just shred it up, pull it pull it apart. You can see it it cooked all the way through. See that? Steam the, steam the lens up. Smells great. And, I, and when I, so I got about two, I put about two liters of water in with that, those bouillon cubes and like four bouillon cubes chicken chicken stock and um, of course the the celery is it cooked cooked out heated up it's cooking the water out of that and all the flavor goodness coming out of that and then uh, I'm gonna taste this chicken a little bit here see how this is mmm mmm mm. that's good Clark that is good Ugh. <laughs> So chicken shredded up in pieces. I'm going to put this back in there. Pretty easy. So I haven't done anything. I put it on. I took it out of the refrigerator this morning. Put it in the crock pot. Turn it on high. Took a shower. And put it on low while I was at work. And that's it. The toughest part was cutting up the vegetables. I gotta use a the knife here is uh it's pretty dull. So it makes it kind of sporty. So I'm gonna put this back in. Bring it back up here. And uh, like I said, I've got the these bow tie pasta. I'm gonna just toss all these in. It says 400 grams. I don't know whatever that is in uh, 
and the uh, ounces. I'm just gonna mix all that in. Make sure it's all covered. Oh, that's gonna be good. Make sure the chicken's all spread through. Oh man, I'm splashing some out. You can see these rosemary leaves kind of came off the stems, so I'll pull that out. Nobody wants to eat a rosemary branch. All right, I'm gonna put this top back on. I'm gonna leave it on low, and I'm gonna let it sit in here for uh, let it cook in here. So it's gonna take, because I left the top off so long, it'll take it a while for it to warm back up. And that's the trick with the crock pot, but uh, it gets back up to a bubble. So I'm probably gonna just leave that in another hour, go work out, come back, and uh, it should be ready by then. So uh, we'll see you. We'll see you back in a minute. All right. Hey, I'm back. It's been about an hour. Nothing like uh, coming back from a, a good workout and uh, coming back to the smell of uh, hot chicken noodle soup. <sighs> about, about make me cry. <laughs> So um, I, I'm gonna, I, I've had the noodles in, I'm gonna try it now. Let's, let's uh, take, a, take some out, let's see. If you can see, uh, so the noodles like, as they took on water, they really soaked up a lot of the water, so, huh. And it's not so much soup as, uh, as noodle-y uh, stew. <laughs> so probably use a little bit more uh, water but yeah those noodles soak that water right up which you know what I'm fine with that so I this will uh, this will transport real nice going to uh, going to work so here's what it looks like and I'm gonna have this with some uh, some crusty bread I'm gonna get a piece of carrot on there with it too mmm Oh, that's delicious. Now, I was thinking that maybe it wouldn't be enough salt, but uh, blow it this time so I don't burn my mouth. Mm. That's delicious. I'll probably add a little bit more salt. Noodles are done, very nice. You can use egg noodles too, or, or any other kind of pasta really. And just tossing it in and letting it cook. I mean, I mean, I suppose if you're a past pasta snob and you wanted it al dente, you could put it in for, you know, only 30 minutes until it's done al dente, or you can do it easy, like I did, and just chuck it in and come back in, in an hour and it's all done and it's nice and easy. So, yeah, that's good, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not uh, it's because it soaked up all that uh, all the broth and everything, all the chicken stock. So I don't know how much easier it could be. Um, put the cut the you know, the hardest part was cutting the vegetables up. Cut them up, put them in there. Put the put the chicken stock, put the chicken in there. Let it let it cook on low for about six hours. Take the chicken out, shred it up, put it back in with the noodles for another hour, and it's done. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Boy, this is uh, this is pretty tasty. I'm gonna enjoy eating this tonight. So, uh, this is the Colonel signing off, uh, cooking with the Colonel Abu Dhabi edition. So we'll see you next time. Take care.